Hey, what's up you guys? Dr. Sharma here out with another video. I know it's been a super long time and I keep saying that at the beginning of my videos because I'll be honest, I just started a residency and uh, it's been pretty tough. Uh, it takes a lot of time to really learn a new language. As you guys know, I mass radiology, so I apologize for taking forever to come out with the videos. Just recently got a question about specifically for international medical graduates, how you should be approaching step two, CK. This is the clinical knowledge portion of the step two exam. Now, specifically for international medical graduates, it's gonna be super important that you guys are actually doing really well on your medical licensing examinations. Now, this is because you're competing with allopathic and osteopathic students for those residency spots in the United States. That means you're gonna to have to spend a lot more of your time studying so that you can get a better score. Now, I know some of the international medical graduate colleges have different semesters. In America, it's sort of split into semesters, whereas in some of the international medical schools, it's sort of split into three or four semesters rather than two. And this means that you may have more time to actually take one of those blocks and really study more for this exam. I highly recommend you do that. And I know a lot of you will wanna be traveling between second and third year or third and fourth year, which is actually when you're gonna be taking the step two CK. Now I am all for traveling and having fun and getting out there before residency, but if you really wanna be doing well on step two, you've gotta hunker down and take the time to really study for this exam. Now I hear a lot of people trying to use one resource and one book for all of your studying and that's an awesome idea because I highly recommend that. First aid for the step two isn't, wasn't really one of my favorite books to use. I definitely think Master the Boards is gonna be a lot better of a book for you to use. It's really well organized and has a lot of the information that you'll need. Another way that you can organize all of your information is online med ed. He's got a, a PDF that you can use and it's really good organization. They have a lot of good diagrams for the next best step. Honestly, I have to admit I use that big time and definitely had it help me come up with diagrams in addition to my question banks that I was using. The next thing that's really important is not to half ass your shelf exams. Now I know you're probably thinking, yeah, these aren't as important. It's kind of like classwork and I don't really have to try as hard. Well, let's be honest. A lot of the questions that come up on your shelf exams are gonna come up on your step two, so don't slack off. Doing well on your shelf exams will not only help you for step two, but it'll also make you look good during your audition rotations. A lot of you at international medical graduate colleges are gonna be coming into the US and rotating at different schools that your school is paid for. You wanna be able to know your medicine really know what you're talking about because I'll be completely honest, you're being head to head compared to MDs and DOs who have attended colleges in America. Therefore, don't half ass your shelves. In terms of a question bank, the most important question bank that you should be using is UWorld, USMLE World for step two. Now UWorld actually started off as a step two study program before they started making material for step one because it got so popular initially. That means this is gonna be the number one resource that you should be using. You've gotta drill this question bank. I'll be honest, in order to score a 260 on step two CK, I had to do UWorld three or four times in the month leading up to my exam. Now I'd say I probably had two months, but I was using the question bank for my shelves as well. So it's definitely important to start early and really get a little bit of a commitment time leading up to your exam. I definitely would not say that you need as long as step one. It's an easier overall exam because you've already learned a lot of the core materials that you needed for step one. Step two is really gonna be about diagnosis, the next best step in order to get to a diagnosis, and the next best step when you think you have a pathology and what you're gonna be treating them with. A huge portion of the examination is electrolytes and nephrology, so definitely drill that portion of your question bank. The practice exams that UWorld will have for you to test how you're doing are gonna be very indicative of what you get in the real exam. In fact, mine was on the point of what I was gonna get on my USMLE step two. Definitely take that exam seriously and make sure you have time before the practice test days, as well as the real test day to really just relax your mind, but be doing questions leading up to the exam. I should have some other videos on leading up to the exam and what you should be doing the month prior to whether it's step two or step one. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. And as always, please like and subscribe so that I know how I'm doing and I can make more of this content for you guys. As always, good luck.